What we're talking about here is the commercialization of space, where NASA is one customer of many customers in a very robust commercial marketplace in low Earth orbit. What we're doing is we're transitioning from a test flight to operational flights. Make no mistake, every flight is a test flight when it comes to space travel. But it's also true that we need to routinely be able to go to the International Space Station. Joining me now from London is entrepreneur, financier, and future astronaut Per Wimmer. He's among the world's first space tourists with Virgin Galactic. Welcome to the show. Now, SpaceX has become the first private company to transport people to space. Tell us how important have private investments become for the sector? The private space sector has really changed very significantly in the past uh, three to five years. If you look at the total amount of capital that has gone into the private space sector in that period, it's equivalent to the same amount that went in in the past 10 years. So there's really been a massive acceleration of capital coming into the private space sector. SpaceX, no doubt, has, has been a big part of this, showing that private sector can do uh, very big impact on, on the, the cost of launches. I mean, for instance, the um, to set a SpaceX uh, a rocket up on the Falcon 9, uh, would, a standard one would set you back $62 million. That is a cost reduction of 80 to 90 percent compared to how it used to do before. So very, very important impact here. NASA made, made a decision a number of years ago yeah. to say this the space launch business, we don't want to be in that one. We're going to outsource it to private enterprise, to the likes of Boeing, to the likes of SpaceX, et cetera, so that we can focus our government dollars on deep uh, uh, deep space exploration and also on our mission to the moon and Mars and beyond. Now, as you mentioned, not only has more capital gone into the sector from, the private, uh, from private investors, but it's actually got more bang for the buck. Why or how are private companies able to do this at lower costs? Well, it's, it's a classic situation where um, in the early days of, of space exploration, it is similar to the early days of aviation. If you go back to the late 1920s, early 30s, where private air, where airplanes were really in the, in, the, in the hands of government officials or very high net worth individuals, Bit of the same these days with billionaires uh, sort of forging the way, but a lot of other investors coming along. And I mean, having private enterprise entering this sector transforms uh, the sector tremendously because suddenly uh, private sector does what it does best. It lowers the cost. It increases the offering. It makes things more efficient uh, because there's competition. You know, they got to win that contract, as opposed to just having one public entity uh, doing this at what, where politics and all sorts of other things suddenly start to interfere about jobs in my state and that sort of thing. So private enterprise has a big role to play here and has really proven it uh, to be very, very successful. Um, SpaceX, case in point, delivered two uh, astronauts um, uh, earlier this year up to the International Space Station and now four is en route uh, successfully as well. Uh, that is what private enterprise can do in the space sector. I'd love to ask you more about the, the economics behind it all, but you're going to be one of the world's first space tourists. Tell us, can you just buy a ticket and hop on or is there more to it? Just walk us through that whole experience. Uh, no, going to space for, uh, is not and will never be just like, let's go to the Caribbean for the holiday or something, um, because it, 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 you will receive a lot of pressure on your body. You'll be in a weightless environment. Uh, so as a result of that, you have to go through uh, training. I have done uh, centrifuge training, spinning around faster and faster and completely simulating uh, a launch into space. I've been flying uh, fighter jets, uh, MiG fighter jets uh, over Russia. And, and also uh, jets in the States. 
and uh, I've been in a weightless environment where I've been up in a, an Illusion um, 76, nose diving down for 30, 40 seconds at a time, becoming weightless, and therefore really feeling exactly how it feels to be in a weightless environment. So I've gone through a lot of space training, and I would certainly not recommend anybody to put him or herself into a space rocket without going through training. Um, uh, it certainly would be a lot less enjoyable and, and, and also more dangerous.